my name is Gordon, and in this video we'll go over the SIG Damazel Radio Control Model Airplane Kit. The Damazel was designed in 1908 by the Brazilian aircraft designer Alberto Santos Dumont and flown in France. The Damazel had a distinctive outline with an open uh, fuselage frame made from bamboo, an all-moving tail surface, and was a small aircraft suitable for the 20 horsepower engine that it used in those early days of flight. The Damazelle is still recaptured today with uh, ultralight versions. Here is a version with a metal fuselage frame and ailerons to replace the wing warping from the original Damazelle. The SIG Manufacturing Company has done a great job of capturing the Damazelle with a kit of the semi-scale um, aircraft. Uh, here is my version of the Damazelle getting ready for flight. In this video, we'll go over details of the construction to help you with your build of this historic aircraft. SIG provides a, dis a detailed illustrated assembly manual that is absolutely required to build the Damazelle. Each step is uh, laid out for the unique construction method of this aircraft. Combined with the detailed plans, you'll have all the information you need to build your version of the Damazelle. This picture shows a fuselage under construction built over the plans, and this is the wing under construction with unique. Uh, rounded balsa dowels used for the lead, wing leading and trailing edge, a great way to handle this type of aircraft that I adapted to my versions of the Blackbird and the Chickadee. The completed fuselage is shown here. Upper left is the hardwood um, engine mounting post. You can see the cockpit, the uh, trays for the servos under the wing king post, and then the, balsa tail, uh, the bamboo tail skid in back. This is another view of the completed fuselage and behind it is the wing, uh, ready for covering wing only. A detail of the fuselage under construction, you can see the servos are in place, the tail unit is mounted, and I stained the balsa fuselage with a wood stain just for a more, more authentic look. In this view is the um, servos on the servo tray. The forward one controls the up and down movement of the tail, the aft one left and right for the rudder, uh, connected with the fishing line to the tail control surfaces. A view here of the uh, servos installed in the completed airplane. You can see the receiver in front and the two servos in back. You can see the fishing line going to the control surfaces and the king post with the elastic thread decoration only for the bracing wires. An underview of the wing. The wings are, control are covered on the top surface only to save weight. Again, a great use of the balsa dowels for leading and trailing edge and the elastic thread for decoration for the um, rigging wire. A detailed view of the electric motor that comes with the kit. It's a geared motor uh, mounted onto the wing post. Uh, you may elect to use a brushless motor for your version of the Damazelle, although this one uh, motor does provide uh, plenty of power for this slow flyer. The large balsa wheels are a distinctive part of the Damazelle. They come all with a kit and uses neoprene fuel tubing dyed black for to simulate the tires on the uh, wheels. Another view of the cockpit of the Damazelle, you can see the NICAD battery located as far forward as possible to aid with the center of gravity uh, on the aircraft. And here is a, another view of the cockpit area. You can see the simulated uh, pilot seat. Uh, the the uh, batteries as well as the uh, distinctive balsa wheels with uh, the thread elastic rigging that goes up to the wings, all for very pleasing effect. A good view of the all moving tail surface is a large tail. You can see the bamboo skid in front of that, a very long skid needed to keep the uh, tail from scraping on the ground. And in this view, you can see a detail of the universal joint that is built in the kit, uh, very detailed instructions how to do this. And you can see the fishing line connected to four points on the tail uh, that provide the up-down, left-right movement to the servos. We can now do a walk around of the completed Damazelle. Now the side view shows the distinctive positive wing incidence of the aircraft, the open uh, fuselage frame construction. The wings are covered top surface only to save weight. The tail is the key to the controllability. You can see the universal joint left, right, up and down on the tail just connects directly to the servos. No mixing or anything required, all explained in the assembly manual. Looking at the installation of the servos, you can see the receiver and the uh, two servos for up, down, left and right. The electronic speed control connected to the brushed electric motor and the cockpit area, the rudder pedals, the battery tray shown here, the distinctive wheels and the thread um, rigging wires, top view of the wing, uh, three channel, uh, no ailerons or wing warping on the model. 
This is a model ready for first flight. Again, a very attractive uh, model. It just looks great. Uh, rear view showing the triangular fuselage and the large all moving tail surface. And another rear view of the Damazelle. The plane handles well in the air. It's a smooth and predictable flyer. Uh, the assembly manual does a great job of teaching you how to fly this with straight ahead hops. One thing you'll have to learn, characteristic of aircraft in these early days of flight, they were low powered, high drag, they did not have a wide range of air speeds. And so with your model, the Davis L, this is how it flies. You'll use throttle a lot to control the altitude. The plane is too high drag to glide well. You just have to keep power on all the time. Uh, you essentially fly it on for landings, but it's all understood to practice, and you'll have a lot of fun uh, with your version of the Damazelle. It's just a very uh, good flyer. Can't take too much wind, suitable for larger indoor venues. Thank you for your time. Any further questions, please go to the website, www.electricplanebygordon.com. Thank you very much.